hi and welcome to today's video. If you saw my last video, you will know that we moved to a really, really old farmhouse that was built in 1900. We've really been settling down in here, but there is something we desperately need, curtains. Even though we're virtually by ourselves out here, I just feel like I need a little bit of privacy that people cannot just look right into what we're doing. I feel like I need some curtains. My inspiration for what I wanted in this house was definitely very sheer, dainty. I saw pictures of lace curtains that are in a lot of older homes. But that's actually hard to find. I've looked at many different thrift stores. I did not have any luck with that. I thought I would just make something new from the fabric store. I looked at all kinds of different colors. I looked at greens. I looked at different whites. And I settled upon this beautiful, now it just looks white here, <laughs> but this is why I got it. When you hold it up against the light, you see this really, really dainty, cute daisy pattern. And I love that. And I really wanted something sheer. So I thought about lining it, but I'm like, I wanna be able to see this daisy pattern really well when light shines through it in the morning or in the evening. So let's see how this goes. I've never made curtains before, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> now the design that I'm doing is very, very simple and basic. It's just a sheer one layer fabric because I want the light to be able to flow in very easily and I wanna be able to see the daisy design. I think it's gonna look really, really good. I'm excited. It was so hard for me to pick just a white fabric. There's so many great ones at fabric stores. Like, it's just, it's endless. I went a little bit fun in the kitchen. <laughs> You'll see that later in the video, but I thought this really looked best with the living room and the house, and it'll look great in every season. Alrighty, let's get to sewing. So whenever you're starting a project like this, you really need to take your time in the beginning and make sure you're doing all of the correct measurements because I ran out of fabric. <laughs> I thought I could do with very minimal and turns out you need more than you think. So here I'm just laying everything out, making sure I'm getting the measurements correct. All of my windows are a different size. That's what you get with old houses, I think. So that made it very tricky. However, things that were a similar size, I just had the same curtain length because I wanted to make sure it looked uniform in the room. As with any project, you want to make sure you're getting all the trimmings off. I'm trying to do it as straight as possible because... I am not having an inner layer. Like literally it's one and done. I just have to hem these edges. So the straighter it is, the easier it is on me when I'm actually sewing. I probably should have gotten a longer guide as well. That would have made this process go by probably easier and straighter. So that's probably the next thing I'll buy. I found this to be the easiest way to measure is just going as far long as this little measuring tape could go and then marking it and holding it until I got the right measurement. This is just what I found easy and worked for me, but if you have a longer guide, that would potentially help you as well. I remember through this entire sewing process, I was so worried that this fabric was a little bit too boring. I was like, why did I choose the, the white one? Why didn't I go with a fun pink or a fun red? Like, go crazy with it. Like, the fabric store has so many endless possibilities. Why did you do something crazy? Anyway, I was like, okay, just trust the process. You've already bought all this fabric. Keep going. Like you made this decision for a reason. And then when I held this up and saw it, I was like, okay, that is pretty cute. I think that's going to look so dainty and so precious. I was sold on it. So I was making sure all my measurements were correct, that it would look good. And that's also important. Like that sounds silly to just hold it up, but that actually helps you a lot. So now we need to pin all the edges so I have a guide when I'm sewing. Just turn on your favorite show and just get to work and make this easier for you because when it's actually time to sew and you have all these pins in, you are going to love yourself. You're going to be like, this made it so easy. I love it. So this is actually my first project in my new sewing room. I love it so much. Look at that view of a cornfield. I love it. Um, but I have a lot more to do. I have like virtually no furniture in there except for my table. 
But here I am, I'm just sewing all of those edges that I had penned just to make it nice and easy. Honestly, that is what I did majority of the time. Like literally I had so many sets of curtains I did and literally I just went to town, got that sewing machine going and it went by so quickly once I had everything penned. You'll notice on this side, I actually didn't pin it. I just folded it over. Honestly, I think both look good, but whenever you pin it, it definitely looks better. It's more clean, more precise, and I do like that more precise look for sure. So with all my curtain rod loops, I did three inches of the fabric folded down. I did that for all of them in every room just so it looked a bit more uniform and pretty. That was just a rule of thumb that I folded it down and I thought, hey, three inches looks good, and then I went with that. So that was very much just on a whim, but I think it looked great. This you definitely can't skimp on with the pinning. You need to pin it because your line will get all weird. I did it once and I messed it up and had to do it over again. So pin this loop, you won't regret it. Now my favorite part of the project, because it means I'm almost done. Okay, don't forget to um, fill up your ironing thing because it's hard to do it when it's hot. But anyway, you just got to give all these a good iron because whenever you hang it up, it looks so much better. It looks so clean, so crisp. I'm so excited to show you guys the final project. I'm actually obsessed. So the grand reveal, here are all of the curtains in the house. Got one there, got them over here. So you can see the gorgeous pattern that I am just obsessed with. Absolutely love it. See how it's super simple. That's what I was going for. When it's not focused on me, so you can see the pattern shine through. Doesn't that look so dainty and just precious? I am obsessed. I love it. We also have this little window that's behind the TV looking out to the cornfield. <laughs> but we got these curtains up to have a bit more privacy. I usually leave these closed during the day because it has been so hot. I feel like it helps a lot to keep the AC from running all day long. The cats, we call it the cat's television because we have the bird feeder out here. But we also have this covered as well. So we have that covered as well. I thought about covering this one, but it's all right. Seeing outside on this one doesn't bother us too bad. I also did the kitchen with like a fun fabric. So let me show you that one. So this is the fun fabric for the kitchen. We chose these cute little farmhouses with chickens. It's just a total vibe. And then above the kitchen window, we did just a small sheet up there. But we think it's so, so cute. So this is the final result. It took me longer than I thought it would, for sure. It took me about two weeks in total just because I was working during the time, but the end result is perfect. You can see the sun shining in. So definitely what I was going for. I wanted a lot of light to still come in and just have that like dreamy effect. I absolutely love it. Perfect for summer. I don't know, I think it would be fine for winter, but like, but part of me wants to get like a winter themed fabric and have like my wintry <laughs> curtains. But I don't know about that. I really like these. These would work for year round because it, I picked a very like neutral fabric. It's just like these cute little daisies and it is just so beautiful. I did iron most of them. I think this one, yeah, this was the one I didn't iron. So there are a few wrinkles in it, but I feel like it just kind of adds to, ooh, I'm out of, see it's so bright outside. But I think it still adds to like the look. It's like very rustic, thrown together. I just absolutely love it. I think it's timeless, I think it's beautiful, and curtains are not hard. You guys can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye now.